Now we all know that Flutterflow is simply awesome. You have complete control over what kind of apps that you can create and you can simply create any kind of apps that you want. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can implement all kinds of amazing special effects very, very easily. And don't forget, if you're interested in following the loan, you can view and clone this specific app from my Patreon page, which you're going to see in the description below this video. So when you're building the app inside of Flutterflow, you can use all kinds of UI elements. And for instance, you can drag a stack here. You can also have ability to animate things by adding an animation. But what if you want something extra? What if you want to take it up a notch, okay? So if you go into pop dev, you have all kinds of amazing packages there that do pretty much anything that you want. For instance, you want an audio player. Well, you got an audio player that does exactly what you want. But what if you want something a little different? For instance, I found this swiper here that basically creates a deck of cards and allows you to swipe left, right, top or bottom, kind of like Tinder works, other apps work. And this is a really nice UI functionality. And so for instance, let's say you wanna implement this kind of functionality inside of your app and you want the flexibility of doing it any way that you want. Well, how would you do that? Well, it's actually very, very easy. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to decide what kind of widget what kind of element or what kind of card we are gonna be making slidable, okay? So if you come in here, you have lots and lots of widgets, but I think it's gonna be more interesting if we pick a custom widget. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna scroll and we're gonna look for an interesting widget. So for instance, we have this car details that might be a good candidate. So we're gonna drag and drop it right here. We're gonna place it and we can have all kinds of customizations. We can. Uh, make it a little bit shorter. We can change uh, the background colors of the um, of the container here, so it's white. Maybe you want it to be, I don't know, something like like this. Maybe a little bit grayish. Uh, whatever you guys want, so something like this. Maybe that's your style. Once you've done that, the next thing that you guys want to do is you want to remove any or any and all animations that this widget might have. So if you Look at this widget tree. You're going to see this play button. You can simply click on it and you're going to come to this animation pane. You can click here and delete animation. We don't need animation because we are already adding animation to it. Okay. Once you've done that, the next thing you guys want to do is you want to go to the um, widget tree here, select the top of the widget, basically the container, right click on it and say convert to component. Okay. We're going to call this car cart add component and now if you come in here you're going to see this car card as a component it's a component now that you can use inside the app but we have a different plan for this component the next thing you guys want to do is you want to go to custom functions and you want to create a new custom widget okay we're going to call this slider widget okay we're going to add a parameter a uh, number of cards that is gonna signify how many of these cards we are gonna build. So you can call it something like this, or maybe even number cards here. This is going to be an integer. Next, you wanna hit view boilerplate code and you wanna copy to editor. And this basically gives you a template that we're gonna be replacing. After you've done that, you're gonna go back to this app in your swiper that we decided to build. And you're gonna scroll down until you see state here, the word state, you're gonna copy and you're gonna select everything below that word. We're gonna select it and we're gonna copy it, okay? We're gonna go back to our app and up in here, you're gonna find state and you're gonna select everything below it. You're gonna delete it and you're gonna paste what we copied. That basically replaced what we want with what we don't want. Basically, it replaced the code with our template here, okay? Now, you wanna add the dependency for this slider simply because this app that we're building, our own app, doesn't know much how the slider works. So you wanna hit add dependency, you wanna come in here, and you wanna click this area right here, come back, paste it here. Now you have a dependency, now it's gonna know what to do with it. Next, you also want to 
copy these first two import statements. Okay, we're gonna come in here and we are going to paste them here, okay? Now you can hit save, come back to this developer menu, hit view code, and you're gonna go to the components area and hit car card. This is the component that we just created, okay? You wanna select everything after the imports, starting from the class, you wanna do that, select all of this, copy it, control C or command C, go back to project, go back to custom code, select back our widget, and what you wanna do is after the imports, you wanna make some space and you wanna do command V or control V to paste that custom widget that we just created. That's the one that we initially created that has the car in it. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna copy the name because we're gonna be using it and you wanna scroll down until you get to that slider widget that we had before. And what you wanna do is where it says example card, you wanna replace it with this car card widget and you wanna delete this list string here. We're not gonna need it. Next it says images, we're gonna call this card deck, which is kind of what it is. And you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna replace images with card deck here. You're also gonna scroll down and you're gonna remove this load cards. We don't really need that. You're gonna remove it here as well. And now you are ready to show the cards in our new slider widget. And for that, you simply need to do the following thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write this right here, and now you can hit compile and preview, and you're gonna wait until it builds our new app. And here we are in the preview mode, so you can increase the width to let's say maybe 800, height to maybe also 800, and as you can see, no cards are showing up. If we put number five, now we're gonna see five of these cards, and now you can swipe them. Here we go, here we go, and you don't have any cards now. So we're gonna hit save, we're gonna go back to the app, and now we don't need this card anymore. We don't need this component, so we can basically delete it here. You can also remove it here if you want. You can just hit here, delete the component, it's up to you. But what we wanna do is we wanna come here, and pick the slider widget. We're gonna put it here, uh, make the width infinite and the height maybe 600, maybe a little bit bigger. You can also specify the number of cards that we wanna see. Let's say we want 10 of these cards here. And now if we run the app, we are gonna see this beautiful behavior there. And here's the app and here you can nicely slide each of these cards. So we had 10 cards. Here we go. And you can customize this app as much as you want. You can include a card that gets displayed once there are no cards found. We also have a couple of buttons as well that allow you to slide that you can utilize them as well. And you can build on top of this functionality. You can build on top of this app to build pretty much any kind of app that you want. And so if you are interested in me making you videos that show you how to utilize the slider, how to create more of these special effects, how to do a lot of these interesting custom widgets, let me know in the comments below so that I know that there are people that are interested in going into this direction. Also, don't forget, you'll be able to view and clone this app on my Patreon page, which you're gonna see in the description below. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more very, very interesting Flutter and other app videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you real, real soon.